was like, Jamie Lynn, you need to focus. Yeah. And I was like, I'm focused. If he, he wasn't that focused on me, then maybe, just maybe, I could focus. Yeah, well, wait, 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 who is that? My mom's new boyfriend, Zeke. How could you complain about him? I mean, he's so hot. Shut up, he's not hot, he's a bum. He works few hours from the computer and calls that a career. Well, your mom's lucky. She's not lucky. He's like a freaking tumor. He's here all the time. Well, if your mom ever gets bored of him, you can send him to my house. Shut up, Leon. He's a loser. He uses all of my dad's stuff and never bothered to ask if that was okay. I can't wait till my mom kicks him out. Why would she kick him out? Because I'm gonna break them up. Jamie, I see that look in your eyes. He's never gonna be my dad. My dad was the best person in the world and he doesn't even stand close. Does your mom really like him? She loves him. She's like under a spell or something. Well, if your mom actually likes him, just let them be happy. I mean, family is the most important thing in your life. So why would you want to screw that up? He has to go. What are you gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do, Leanne? I'm gonna seduce him. No, you're not. After that, my mom won't have a choice. She will have to get rid of him. you so much, Dad. I hate this guy so much. I wish you were still here with me, with Mom. Oh my god, Jamie, you, you scared me. Uh, do you need something? No, I was just looking for my mom. Okay. I, uh, I think she's in the living room. Hmm, good, okay. I'm gonna go check there then. Yeah. Tell her I'll be right down, okay? Okay. I'll tell her. Bill, I just don't think it's viable in the third quarter. Okay, that's it. I'm not trying to talk out of line here, but these are good okay, numbers. Okay, that's it. I made up my mind. You know, it's not a bad idea. Uh, Jamie. What's going on? I need 20 bucks. Me and the girls are going to the movies. Uh, and Jamie, I'm in a meeting right now. Yeah, but I realize we're a family now, so. Uh, okay, fine. Look, have fun, be safe. Uh, 
That was my girlfriend's daughter. She's a really smart kid. Anyway, does somebody have the figures from Q2? Hey, babe. Oh, hey. What's up? Not much. You do know how much I appreciate everything you do for us. You cook. You help with mortgage. I have no idea how I got so lucky. Diane, I told you I'm the lucky one. I mean, I feel like I found my soulmate here. I'm just worried that you're not serious about us. Of course I am. Why would you say that? Well, Jamie Lean is still Jamie Lean. You know, it was pretty hard on her after Harry died. And we had plans for a big family. I, I can only imagine what she went through. Um, but what are you getting at? I don't want to freak you out. I just don't want to lose you. What? Hey, no, you won't. Come on. I love you. What is it? You can tell me. Could you ever see yourself having a child with me? ever wanted was to be a dad. And a thing that could Stop. be with... I want it to be with you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Jamie! Hey, honey. Um, how was the movies? Oh, we didn't end up going. Where did you go? To Kyle's place. He had a little party going on. Mm. I hope you're smart. I'm always smart. You know, I'm so worried about her. After Harry passed, she became so different, sort of protective of me. Eh, just give her some time. She'll be okay. We all heal in different ways. Mm. Jamie! What the? What are you doing in here? I need to get ready for school and you are taking around 30 minutes. Yeah, well, knock and ask me to leave next time. And where would be fun in that? Get out! Mm. Babe, this is so good. I don't know what you did to this broccoli, but it is the best thing I have ever had. Oh, thank you, honey. I'm so happy. I saw this on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Well, it is driving me insane. Oh. I'm so happy you like it. <laughs> Seriously, Zeke, this is the best you've ever had. Come on, you must have had better. I could eat this every day. Oh, could you? Yes, Jamie. Your mom's a great cook. Oh, that is so cute. But I can bet you're gonna get sick of her cooking real soon. Jamie! Why don't you go do your homework? I'll clean up your plate. You know, I think you're right. You two have a good night. I'm sorry, Zeke. I didn't know what's gotten into her. Oh, she'll be okay. She just, uh, probably doesn't trust me yet.
Mmm, forgot to ask. How was your rehearsal today? It was fun. Did they like your recital? Like I said, they loved it. Honey, uh, are you okay? Yeah, I uh, got to make a work call. Okay, don't be long though. The food will get cold. He's the best, right? He's a good guy, mom. You happy? Oh, honey. I don't remember a time that I was this happy. What about dad? That's not what I mean, Jamie. It's just been so long since. So you can just forget about him? Like he never existed? Jamie, that's not what I mean. You know it. Then what is it? Because I think that's exactly what you mean. You can just forget him that easy. That's not fair, Jamie. Not fair? My whole life has been unfair. But somehow, you get to do whatever you want. Excuse me. So this doesn't need to be the entire platform, but it would increase ad space. And uh, Jamie, what's going on? I'm in a meeting. I'm sorry, but Leanne is sick and I need a ride to school. Could you take me? Uh, yeah, sure. Just give me a few minutes, okay? Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks. I owe you. Huge. Sorry, everybody. I gotta give my girlfriend's daughter a ride. Do what you gotta do, boss. We'll, uh, we'll have those projections for you when you get back, Zika. All right, thanks. Be back soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon. <sighs> Can you tell me why you didn't just take the bus today? The bus? What am I? A nerd? I just think you're in high school, you can take the bus. The bus is for underclassmen and I'm a senior. Listen, Jamie, I think we need to oh, talk about- Oh, pull in here. Uh, okay. What is this place? Come on, stop messing around. We gotta get you to school. It's just a shortcut. Keep going. No, there's no way out back here. And, uh, I think it's... Jamie! What the hell are you doing? Ow! No, stop! We're leaving! Jamie, you need to let go of my hand right now. Zeke, I see the way you look at me. I don't look at you anyway. Zeke. I know you want it. I Jamie, if, if you try that again, I'm gonna drag you out of this car. You wouldn't do that. I know you wouldn't. Don't. See, come on. Since the minute I saw you, I couldn't stop thinking about this. Come no, on. Jamie, please. No. Stop. We shouldn't do this. This is wrong. Zeke, I'm gonna think about this all day. I'll see you tonight, Eddie. Hey, baby. Guess what? I asked my boss if I could work from home today. What? What's wrong? I did something stupid. Stupid? Like, like what? I messed up. Zeke, what did you do? I, I can't. 
Seek. Jamie asked me to take her to school today. Jamie? Mom, do you hate me this much? What? You hated me enough to destroy my happiness. I just wanted him out. Out? Not a big deal. You just broke me, Jamie. I loved him. Then what about dad? Stop this crap. Your father died four years ago, you little brat. You really don't care about me, do you? You broke my life. Oh no. Oh no. I played a game that I shouldn't have played. I broke my mom's heart again. I, I think I broke it forever now. I will never forgive myself. I should have listened to Leon. My whole life, people told me, if you work hard, be a good person, be kind, you'll have success and happiness. But it's not always true. Sometimes you make a mistake that changes everything forever. Damn. Good morning, Mrs. Martin. Breakfast. Oh, thank you, Sonia. I've got a busy day. Scott, could you stop playing your games for a minute and just eat? Baby, I'm not just playing video games. This is the newest update and I have to make sure- And why are you still in your pajamas? 
I was thrilled that you're working from home, but you seem to get sloppier and lazier by the day. That's not true. I have a meeting at nine and I'll put on something else. And then what? You're gonna lay around the couch and play video games all day. I'm not just playing video games. This is research for my video game company. My father sold vacuum cleaners, but that doesn't mean he sat at home vacuuming all day. And he had enough self-respect to actually clean up after himself. Mrs. Martin, I can assure you that Mr. Martin is very clean. Oh. Is that why laundry isn't done when I get home from work? I'm so sorry, Mrs. Martin. My back has been hurting and I've been really slow, but I'll get back to it. That's okay. I've got it covered. No, Vivian. We talked about that. Yes. And I went and did what I was supposed to do in order to not lose my mind over your nonsense. Ah. 8.30 on the dot. On time, just like I like it. What is happening? I think Vivian hired a little extra help. Jasmine, this is Scott and Sonia. Hi. Jasmine, like I said, you'll be helping out Sonia and keeping an eye on Scott so he's not fooling around all day. Oh, I'll be watching you like a hawk. <laughs> Vivian, this isn't necessary. Don't be pathetic. At least not more than usual. Let me show you around the house. Oh, I think we're gonna get along just great, Scott. Is that your game? Yeah, it's the new Lightning Fight console version. We're coming up on the release date, and, and uh, there's just so many bugs still. <sighs> Scott, you're so smart. I really admire what you were doing here. Thanks, it's just... Uh, Jasmine. What's wrong? Be honest, Scott. I really need you to be more professional at work. Some of the stuff you're doing is making me a little uncomfortable. Ugh, I'm so sorry. No wonder you're so stressed. I think Vivian doesn't take care of you at all. <sighs> well, she really does. Does that feel nice? Yeah, but I, I think I need you to stop, please. Listen, Scott, if there is anything I could do to alleviate your stress, like anything. I'm here for you, Scott. Huh? What do you think? What? I'm up. I'm ready. I'm fully dressed. First thing in the morning. So? So you inspired me. What you said about me being lazy, uh, it doesn't set the right tone for the day. I think this is a whole new me. Congratulations, Scott. You got dressed up. Where do you think that puts you? Hmm? Kindergarten level? First grade, maybe. Yay! Vivian. 
Vivian. Vivian, come on. Look, I know something's been wrong for a long time. Just tell me what it is. I'm bored, Scott. You're boring. My friends went to Tahiti last spring, and where did we go? Nowhere. They go out dancing, they go to concerts, they go to resorts, and where do we go? Nowhere. You just sit on that couch playing video games, and I just watch my life pass by. I don't have time to go on a trip right now. I'm in the middle of making this game, and I promise the council comes out soon, and we'll have more time and more money. I promise. I don't know if I believe you. Although you did say you were going to start working out tomorrow, so that should be good. Uh, that tomorrow? Don't tell me you forgot. I'm in the middle of developing this game. The console comes out next week, and there's still so many problems with it. I don't have time right now. I knew it. You were never going to use that equipment. You were just going to sit on that couch playing video games. It is not attractive to me, Scott. Okay, fine. I'll start working out tomorrow. Good. Well, I'm sorry you had to see that. How are you feeling, Sonia? Oh, thank you for asking. Ever since Jasmine has took over the laundry, my back has been feeling so much better. Thank you. Well, unfortunately, my back has been killing me. These laundry baskets are so heavy. I don't know if I can keep carrying them. Oh, you poor thing. Tell you what, why don't you use my yoga gear to stretch those sore muscles of yours? Also while keeping an eye on Scott, doing what he promised that he's gonna do. Thank you, Vivian. You're welcome. It's just gonna be you and me. I can't wait. Jasmine being nice to me made me realize how Vivian's cruelty was hurting my feelings. Something was going to have to change. Scott, can you help me? Sure, what's wrong? Oh, it's my back. It's so sore. I can't lift this shirt over my head. Would you take it off for me? Uh, I really don't think that's appropriate. I'm wearing yoga outfit underneath, silly. There's nothing scandalous going on. Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right, uh, there you go. All set. You're so funny. I like funny guys. Yeah, that's me, a comedian. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna get back to it. Hey, Sonia, what's up? Hey. Oh, thank you so much. I really needed this. Scott. I've known you for many years now. And all you have been is kind 
and caring. You are a man of honor, and you would not break a sacred trust of a marriage. What kind of marriage do you think I have? Vivian practically hates me. You need to believe that good things happen to good people. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm just gonna run upstairs and grab a shower. But uh, maybe later you and I can have a little talk. Sure. You go relax, Ka. You deserve it. Today was going to be the day. I didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it was Vivian that made me do it. Scott? You wanted to talk? Yeah, uh, I'm just a little nervous. I've, uh, I've never done this before. It's okay, Scott. We can be together and, and Vivian. She doesn't have to know. I knew it. You couldn't keep your hands off of her, could you? That's why I came home early, so I could catch you. Vivian, it's not what it looks like. Oh, isn't it? This is the ultimate betrayal. You let me down again. And I'm divorcing you. And I'm taking everything, Scott. Is that what you want? You really want to leave me? You have no idea. You broke my trust. And you broke my heart. So it's over. You're right about one thing. Trust is the most important thing. When you lose that, everything changes. What are you talking about? I know your life with me hasn't exactly been what you pictured. You see your fancy friends go on expensive adventures, their rich husbands, and what do you have? I've been developing this game and all you see is some lazy guy on the couch playing video games. I just wish my love was enough for you. Oh, clearly my love was not enough for you. Oh, you stopped loving me a long time ago. That's why when you hired a beautiful maid, I got a little suspicious. I ran a few background checks on Jasmine. You know what I found? Jasmine is not a maid. She's not even a Jasmine. She's an actress you hired to play a part. But I am a maid. Acting doesn't pay me that well. I'm a maid on the side. Yeah, I figured that. That's why I had Sonia follow you around. You what? I was so angry that he had this morning. <laughs> I me to yoga with him. I look great at tights. Yes, you do. All right. Just text me and let me know when I'm supposed to go. Of course. Okay. My only question to you is, why'd you wait till now? Fine. I knew that once you release your stupid video game, you're gonna get a lot of money. And I want that money for myself, so I could live the life that I deserve without you holding me back. Oh, and, and I was about to get a 10%. Sorry. You will. Besides, his video means nothing. My video has the both of you in it, which means it's his word against ours. Scott? That's exactly what we needed her to say. You got all that, Sonia? Yes, I recorded it all. She explained her motive and her plan. And that is exactly what the police told us they need to arrest them for extortion and blackmail. Thank you, Sonia. 
Uh, it would have never worked out between us, Vivian. I would have never broken our trust. That was your mistake. Your cruelty toward me never affected how much I loved you. I just always wanted you to be happy. She didn't realize it. Vivian had given me a gift. Now I'm free to find the person who will truly love me for who I am. Damn. If you're a good person and kind, you'll find success and happiness. Thank you, you're amazing. Sure, let's meet up tomorrow. She's got home, I gotta go. So, who was that? Why, <laughs> you're not gonna tell me? There's no one. Why can't you tell me? Martha, there wasn't anyone special. Then why can't you tell me, Timothy? Look, it was just someone from work, okay? So I was thinking, for your birthday, I know you're working late. Do you still want to go out after? No, I think I, I would prefer to stay at home. Well, then I'll make sure dinner's ready by the time you get back. Perfect. All right. Sure, I thought maybe you'd recognize her. She looks real familiar, though. I just can't place her. I've never seen her before. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe she's just a friend. He told me he was going to work. Why would he lie? Mm, a work colleague? Maybe it's their lunch break. Alice, it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Lunch break is at 12. Maybe he's planning something for your birthday? I don't know. We just agreed to have dinner at home, but... I'm sure there's a good explanation. There better be. was right. Maybe Timothy is planning a surprise for me. Hey. So, how was work? Uh, nothing special. And did you do anything else after work? No, uh, just came home. Why? No, nothing. Just curious. He's lying to me. Why? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to hey. you. Happy birthday, dear Martha. Happy birthday to you. All right, make a wish. Okay. Very good. <laughs> All right, we can eat this later. Thank let's you. let's sit down. Thank you. All right, you gotta try it. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Wow. This is really good. Did you do it all by yourself? Yeah. What, you don't think your man can cook? Oh no, now I do. <laughs> I have no problem cooking for you for the rest of my life. 
Be careful what you wish for. Here, I got you something. I bet I can guess what that is. Okay, go ahead, try. Is it a um, necklace? Uh, just open it, but uh, maybe lower those expectations a little. I remember you saying you always lose your notebook at work. This one has your name on it, so it'll always come back to you. What? You don't like it? Uh, no, no, you, you always know what I need the most. <laughs> Who's that? Nothing, just work stuff. Honey, I'm a little bit chilly. Do you think you can grab me a jacket? Yeah, sure, that's it. Password? Since when does he have a password on his phone? Oh, crap. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Hey. Something wrong? It's all good. Okay. All right, let's see. So you like to play games? Fine with me, Timothy. I love the challenge. Tim meets Claudia. Hi, you're pretty cute. Hi, thanks. I can't believe you replied so quick. So, what do you like doing in your free time? What is your favorite food? I know it sounds basic, but mac and cheese. Good morning. I just arrived to work. And what are you up to? Nothing much. Just thinking about you. I wish you were thinking about me too. Sorry, I don't think I can see you this week. Okay, so maybe I'm not trying hard enough. Maybe he's too busy with that other girl. But I'm gonna get the truth, Tim. Maybe someday. I knew he won't be able to resist. Are you going to work? Yeah, I'm meeting a client. Oh, I see. Good luck. Thanks. Do you believe in true love? Absolutely. Don't you? When I talk to you, I do. Cheated on someone? You really like asking personal questions, don't you? You haven't answered the question. Doesn't mean that you've cheated before? Only once. That was a long time ago. God, what else am I gonna learn? What else is he hiding? I think I should say that I'd never cheat on someone I'm planning to spend the rest of my life with. Guess 
I know how unimportant I am to him now. Why isn't he replying me yet? When can we meet? How about tomorrow? Sure. Time to expose that little cheater. It's been half an hour. Where is he? Good day, ma'am. I'm ready for an order. I'm waiting for someone. Gotcha. I'll be back. Okay, thanks. Timothy? Is this Martha? Yeah, who's this? This is Dr. Meadows at Hope Hospital. I'm sorry to inform you, but Tim has been in a car accident. What? He's alive, but his kidneys are failing. We're trying to find a donor, but he might not have time. It's probably best you get over here ASAP. He's in the hospital. Why are you at home? Why aren't you there with him? Are you kidding me? He was clearly cheating on me. How do you know that? I created a fake account and I started flirting with him. He was supposed to meet Claudia for a date. That's where I was going to confront him. Did you ask him about the girl I saw? No. Martha, that's why I called you. I recognize her. I know who she is. Who? Remember I told you she looked familiar? I recognize her from TikTok. She's a wedding photographer. You don't think he would ask her to shoot your wedding? No, why would I? He's never asked. You think he was gonna ask me to marry him? You've been together for quite a long time now. I don't see why not. Wait, so when he said he would never cheat on someone that he wants to spend the rest of his life with, he was talking about me? He said that? Yeah. Girl, he's definitely trying to propose to you. It all makes sense now. I gotta go to the hospital. <laughs> yes, that's what I've been telling you. I'm sorry, I'm looking for Timothy. Timothy Roberts, I'm his girlfriend. Yes, Timothy, please, this way. <sighs> Timothy? Oh God, Timothy, please say something. Doctor, why isn't he responding? His kidneys are failing. We are trying our best to find a donor, but so far, we have had no luck. If we don't find a match soon, Timothy will... We got a blood match once. I would be a perfect donor. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. I love him. We have to run some tests first. You offer that? Okay, follow me, please. It's the least I could do. I can't believe I didn't trust you. I was so obsessed with the idea that you might be cheating on me that I almost lost you. I'm so selfish. I don't know if you'll ever be able to forgive me. Martha, you just gave me your kidney. Oh, Timothy, you're awake? <laughs> How are you feeling? Like the most unlucky guy in the whole world. I was coming to see you when I got hit by a freaking car. To see me? You were on your way on a date. Someone you've been flirting on Instagram. Yeah, you. You didn't think I knew that was you? The phrasing you chose. The way you spoke. So you knew it was... Yes, immediately. Explain why 
he got so paranoid he felt you had to create a fake account and catfish me. Because you start acting all jinky when I asked who was calling you. And then Alice sent me that picture of you and, and th th that other woman and there was that necklace. And <sighs> Timothy, if you knew this all along, why didn't you just say something? Because I was trying to figure out why you were doing it. And on that date, I was going to... To what? I was going to propose to you. You were? Of course. I love you more than anything in the whole world. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> you have to promise me something. Anything. You have to trust me, okay? You have to trust that I love you. Okay. Yeah. Promise? I do. So, I know this isn't the most romantic setting, but Martha, will you make me the happiest guy in the whole world? Will you marry me? Yes, yes. So this is a little awkward, uh, I don't have the ring. <laughs> I left it in my jacket. So whoever gets up first can go get it. Sounds great. Oh, and about that necklace. What about it? It goes with the ring. I know how much you like to wear necklaces, so I got you the whole set. Honestly, you're just the best. I love you. I love you too. Hey guys, what did you think about the video? Do you have a similar exciting story to tell? Let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll use it in our next video. We're publishing new short stories every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to be the first to see the new Secret Diaries.